Hey guys, so this video is going to be about how you use this online platform to read trees. And this is just in case you forgot to grab your close reader before we left school and you've never picked it up. I know that we haven't used it up to this point, but I wanted to use one of the texts in it for this week. And it is available in the online textbook. Or you can just use your actual close reader. Either way is fine if you just want to take a picture of it and then uh, submit those pictures in the Google Classroom assignment. That would also be okay. But I want to show you how to do it uh, by taking screenshots of your actual book here. So what you're going to do is you are going to open up your H or go to my.hrw.com. You're going to open up your textbook by logging in and then you probably will open up to the hermit story or whatever you were reading before. If you can't find it, and perhaps I should have made this earlier, but if you can't find it, you need to click the contents button that is up here. And you'll see that the table of contents for specifically this collection will come up first. If you are in a different collection or whatever, you can go back, back, back by clicking that back button up there. And then you'll see all of the different areas that you can go to here. We're in collection six, finding yourself in nature. And then here are all of the different titles from collection six. Here's Hermit's story. If you haven't read that, if the, you were reading, you know, dwellings or whatever else, that's where you'll find those. Uh, but you could click uh, close reader trees and that will take you right here. So it'll bring you this. I don't know if you've been using that or if you've just been clicking the page numbers that I've been giving you up here. That's also a way that you could do that if you would like. So the way that this works is all of your controls are on this side over here. So you have a few different things that you could do. You could make bookmarks in places. You know how that works. Page view is how you zoom or in or out. So you can scroll that to the right and we'll go in, zoom it to the left. I don't know who on earth wants it that small, but that is a functionality that they built into this. So I'm old, so I'll probably want it pretty big. And one of the things that you can do, you see that I have underlines here. So if I click on that, it'll bring up this notes folder. You don't have to have it already underlined to click on it. Let's say you wanted to un underline this new section. All you have to do is highlight it and you can see add a note happens right there. When you add a note, this is a highlighter and this is an underliner and you can pick the color. So let's say I wanted to highlight that one in green, boom, highlight it in green. Uh, and so we are gonna move forward into where there's actually a question. So you see here there's questions two and three. Two is very easy to answer. I'll have that in the Google Doc and you can answer it that way. Uh, or again, if you're using your actual close reader, you can just write it down in your book and take a picture of it. If you are using this online textbook for this, I will make a Google Doc for you to fill out answers in, or I guess you could write it on a separate sheet of paper as well. Please do not use this button uh, to answer the questions and, and do things because it would put all the answers in weird different places for me and it would just be challenging. So please fill it out on the Google Doc. Here is where I really wanted to get into it. You have highlight text that describes the author's initial reaction toward lumbering, underline details that explain why trees are cut down, and in the margin note how the author describes recently lumbered tracts. So if, again, if you're doing this on a piece of paper, that's very easy. If you're doing this on the online textbook, then you know how to do it now. So let's see, the highlight text that describes the author's initial reaction toward lumbering. The works of man, the industry that drives each on economic day are what the main woods call to mind. What man leaves behind is happenstance. The cutters might trust indomitable nature. They might trust cooperative university-based science, or they might be indifferent. So let's say, you know, the cutters might trust indomitable nature. Maybe I think that that is a piece of evidence that describes the author's initial reaction toward lumbering. So it asks me to highlight so I can click add a note. And then I can highlight that in, ooh, why not pink? I'll highlight that one in pink. Uh, the next one asks you to underline details that explain why trees are cut down. And there's a lot of different uh, reasons why it's cut down. Let's see, you know, such as the day of workaday humanity. So again, we would add a note and then we could click underline and let's underline that in green. Boom. So if you are underlining or whatever, highlighting, then you can do it right in the text here. And then you can take a picture of the screen. You can take a screenshot of the screen and attach those into your Google assignment as well, if you would like.
Alternatively, I will leave space for you to just write down the sentences. You can also just uh, control C, copy, and paste things as well. So again, don't use that. I was just using that to show you that you can copy paste. You can just control C, control V into the Google Doc for the different pieces of evidence here. And I'll leave some space for that in the Google Doc as well. Okay, and all you have to do is read through this. If you like the audiobook, you see the audio button on the side there. In the heights of the trees, there was... Ooh, what a voice. And yeah, that'll be it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, hopefully you found this very easy to follow. And let me know if you have any questions. See you guys.